What's going on everybody? I picked something up today that I'm pretty excited about. My brother actually told me about it and it is the Gordon Emergency Survival Kit. There's a lot in here. There's actually 12 pieces in total. Uh, some of them I'm very excited about. Some of them I'm not so excited about. I'm going to show and share that with you. So before we get started, grab a seat, grab a drink. Let's get started. So what we're doing here is we're going to go over the Gordon Emergency Survival Kit. Now, I've been looking for something that I want to put in my truck and keep in my truck at all times. And so a survival kit to some degree is going to be that thing. It's going to be survival. It's going to be a medical kit, so on and so forth. My guess is that I'm going to need to build and customize one for myself. But this particular kit from Gordon actually has a lot of things in here that I'm pretty pumped up about. And so without further ado, we are going to open this bad boy using the handy dandy Smith & Wesson from Walmart. Look at that stone wash. Let's go. Let's get her opened up. Sorry if I make a bunch of noise. And also, my two pups are just kind of staring at me over there in the living room. But that's okay. So it comes, and this is what I'm really excited about, or one of the things that I'm really excited about is this here box that it comes in. Now I have two compartments in the back of my truck. I got a 2015 Toyota Tacoma, and there's two compartments on either side at the end of the bed. And this will fit in there so perfect, I'm pretty sure. So we may be giving it a try at, at, the, uh, at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. We're not gonna open this just yet. All of the goodies are in here, except for about three others, which you saw on the front of the package, which I will grab for you right now. And we're gonna start with the first one, if I can get it out. Okay, here we are. Okay, I got it. And the first thing that we're gonna go over is this here knife. Now, it's a 3.25 blade, stainless steel. What type of steel? GK23. I believe that's the type of steel. Um, anybody who knows about steel, you can, you can correct uh, me or agree. Uh, but either way, that's the blade, okay? It's all black, which I really like. I like when it's, I, th I just think black is like really sleek. Between these two, these are my two favorite like ways to have a knife, either blacked out or I like the stone wash. So this, there's the blade, sharp, sharp for, you know, coming out of the box. And so for a survival kit, this is, this is about as sharp as you need it to be. Obviously sharpened to your own preference, but it comes out of the box pretty darn sharp. I'm excited about that. Uh, it's got that straight little pin locking system. I always forget what that's called, but there you go. It's locked. Um, belt clip. See how strong that is. It's strong. There's some knives where the belt clip is so freaking tight that it's like impossible to get it off of your belt loop or out of your pocket, wherever you put it. But some of them, the, the clip is just too darn strong. But this one, it's got enough flex in it that it will be secure when you're standing up, bending down, walking around, running, whatever the case may be. It'll stay put, but it won't be so kept on there that you literally have to work to get it off. And so I do like that. Um, fits good in the hand. It's a basic pocket knife, but it does feel good in the hand. It's, it's light, um, but definitely it's lighter than this one, that's for sure. But I do like it. This is supposed to be a seatbelt cutter. Now I watched one of my brother's videos and something that he said that I 1000% agree with is I don't actually believe that this is great for seatbelts. I think it sucks for seatbelts. I think this will cut good paracord or twine or any of your survival kit cordage. Uh, but cutting a seatbelt, I just don't know that I buy it. So. I don't want to be trapped underwater, needing to cut my seatbelt, thinking this is going to do it. And I'm looking at this blade and I, I just don't see it. So unless you've got a crappy old crusty seatbelt, then maybe. Then you've got your glass break. I, it's hit or miss for me. You'll see videos of people just wailing with all of their soul, trying to break glass and it doesn't break. And then you'll see people that just walk up with one of these and they, do, they tap a corner, it shatters and... You know, there's that. And so you can do with that what you will. 
I'd probably use this as like self-defense or if I need to crack open a coconut or something like that. I don't know where I would need coconuts in a survival situation, but based on where I go camping and stuff. But anyways, that's enough for the knife. Knife, I like it. I give the knife a... Open and close is a little weird, but I bet I could adjust that with this little doohickey right here. So knife, I still give it, let's go seven out of 10. Now we're gonna go to the other part of this. Oh, they really don't want me to get these out of here. Half the battle is getting it out of the box. All right. The good old spork. I don't really care for these because they never work as intended. This is a spoon. Um, that's what I think it is. So this is a spoon. I, this could work. I mean, depending on what you're trying to grab or scoop. But I mean, I don't think this is a very good fork. So spork, hardly. Spoon, yes. Got this little hex bolt looking thing right here. I mean, I, I normally don't, maybe you guys can tell me, but I never understand this. Why do, when you're out there surviving in the woods, like what would you use that for? You could put cord and stuff in there, I guess, but if you're using it for its intended purpose, why would you need that in the middle of the woods? I'd never understood that. Um, this is where you can put your cord in and get it tied up. This doubles as a whistle. <laughs> My dogs are freaking out. Doubles as a whistle, so I don't know. I mean, you could always, utensils are always great and whistles are good, but this does seem a little gimmicky to me. So I'm not super crazy about the spork. I've got so many other camping survival utensils that are just fine. They don't come with a whistle, so I guess that's the plus. Now, little tack flashlight. I don't know, does this got batteries in it? No, it doesn't, so I don't know how bright this is. I guess I could have put batteries in it before I turned the camera on. Um, mine didn't come with batteries, and so I can't tell you how bright this is, but I, I'll comment on what I can comment on. It's pretty tough. It feels like aluminum, doesn't feel like steel. I like that it's got a little clip on it, so I can clip it anywhere. See, now this has got one of those clips that I hate. It is hard as crap to bend that off. Not bend it off, obviously, but to put this like in your... <sighs> Wherever you're gonna put it. It just seems like it'd be so difficult to pull it off this darn clip. And so that I find kind of annoying. But if this is bright, I just need it bright enough to see where I'm walking. I don't need it to light up the whole sky. So I actually do like this a lot. I feel like you can never have, you know, just like knives, you never have too many. Flashlights, you never have too many. Get a small one, get a big one, all that stuff. All right, so this box is watertight. It's got a seal around it, which I'll show you. It's got four little clips. I do love that it's black. Ooh, it's got some foam in there. Fantastic. Here's all the oop, goodies. That is the fishing pack. Okay, so it's got line. It's got one J-hook there. And it's got this little saw plastic lure. I bet you this thing is dynamite, the saw plastic lure. I might take it out of there and just try it. Now don't waste stuff. Okay, so it's got the line. That line likely is, is five pound test. I don't think it says it in here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. So that's, that's a big plus, I love this. Instructions. Heat blanket and or emergency blanket and or survival blanket and or call it whatever you want. This is so good at reflecting heat, it's not even funny. Um, you don't have a survival kit if you're, if you're not carrying around one of these. You don't have a camping kit if you're not carrying around one of these. If you're doing anything outdoors and you don't have this in case of an emergency situation, in case of weather, you know, temperature drops and this, that, and the other, what are you doing? Don't slack. You're going to need one of these. Let's get one of these gimmicks out of the way. Now, I've used one of these maybe two times in my whole life, and here's what I'll say. It's garbage. It's good if you're trying to cut something 
this thick. Preferably if it's dry. Um, but for the most part, these little rings hurt your freaking fingers. You have to put like wood in between it and saw forever. These things wear out after like three uses. It's just not great. I get the idea if you're trying to... I really just don't like them. Let's just put it that way. So if you guys are about it, good for you. I'm not crazy about them. Like I said, they're good for really small branches, but you could break the thickness that these things would cut. So do you need it? Not really. Eh, that's how I feel about that. What else do I like? Paracord bracelets. A couple cool things about this. One, got your little blade there. Two, there's a little compass. I'm sure that compass doesn't work that great. Seems like a little gimmicky compass. Does not point true north. That's fine. Um, but this little blade here is good for that little piece right there in the mi middle. That's actually a ferro rod. How great that little tiny one is. It doesn't come out. No, it doesn't come out. It stays right there. Um, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to try it. So I love bracelets like this. I actually have another one. I never wear it, but I do have one. So now I've got two. And I think this is also, is this a whistle? Yes, it's a whistle. <laughs> All right, so this is awesome. So I like this. What else? This, if you know what this is, if you camp, then you know exactly what this is. I think this is awesome. No, it's not a baton. No, it's not a straw, even though you could probably use it as a straw. It's a bellow. And so this is great for, <coughs> there was something in there. <coughs> this is good for, Keeping your fire going. You got your, all of your coals are burned down and you just have that, that red, white coals, super hot and you need to bring the flames back alive. This is how you do it. You guys, my beer is making me burpy as all get up. Making it hard to talk. So I do like the stainless steel. And I love this. I love this, love this, love this. I'll tell you what, when I, the next time I use a fire, even if I do um, light something up in the camp or um, like do like a campfire, fire pit in the backyard, or if I do some um, some grilling, we're gonna use this. And I'll show you how cool it is. All right, we're wrapping this up. We're coming up on the end here. Here is something that I love, 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 love. One on pure size alone. Oh gosh, and of course they wrap it all crazy. Here, but come on. Come on. There we go. Here we are. Barrel rod, but a big one. That's what I like. Got a beer opener here, which doubles as some hex thing, which again, so stupid, but I guess it's got a purpose at some point. You, you can measure things on here if it's that important. I, I'll tell you right now, I'm not measuring anything. I have no use for that. I've got no use for this other than the bottle opener. Um, this is where you scrape the coating of this off. And then you strike her up and she's good to go. I love this. You can't have too many of these. Tactical pin. There you go. That's for DNA. This little part right here at the end. Self-defense. Get somebody in their temple. Get them in the jaws. Anywhere where they have like not a bunch of meat right here in the face. Because you really want to cause damage. And so that's how you do it. It's great. Does it... Is it an actual pen for you Moo Moo's out there? Yes, it's an actual pen, so you can write on some stuff. I think that's all this is. It's, it seems to be hard aluminum, and I'm just trying to make sure there's no other special things about this. doesn't seem to be, but I do like it. I like it a lot, and so I will keep this in my, my probably in the glove compartment of my truck. be a good place for it. One, because I always need a pen to write with when I'm out and about. And then if I need to get somebody, I get them. Next. This is a to hold a bottle. I don't care about this. I'll probably repurpose it to something else. It won't be for bottles. It'll be for something else. Now, here's the thing that I hate the most. It's the most gimmicky. Every survival kit or camping like gift set includes one of these and I can't stand them because I think they're stupid, but. One of these little doohickeys. 
So all these little hex things here, like, it would hurt so bad if something was tight. Like, if you even tried to use this to get a screw loose or a bolt loose or whatever, like, how hard this thing is to turn with your hands. You'd have to just figure it out, I guess, but I'm, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not sure what that little part is for. But there's a lot of tools on here. Like, this little saw thing is, is tough. Um, maybe it's a fish scaler or something. I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff on here. That I, I'm just not crazy about things like this. I don't know of anyone I've ever met who's ever used one of these, or at least used them successfully in a pinch. Not about it. So that is the kit as a whole. What are my top favorite? Th well, it'll be a shorter list if I tell you what isn't my favorite. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. So out of the 12 pieces, only three of them kind of rub me the wrong way. I'm not crazy about the spork spoon, um, but it is it is very sturdy. Oh, look, it also has a, okay. I didn't realize that. You pull it out and you've got this knife here with a super sharp, god dang. This knife is sharper than this knife. Jeez. Okay, well, I okay, so I do like this. Never mind. It's got the knife, it's got a scaler, it's got a bottle opener, it's got stupid crescent garbage. Um, other than that, now that I know the rest of this was hidden under there, I'm actually pretty excited about this. That's a win. So I'm excited about everything else. So there it is. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. Gordon Emergency Survival Kit, 12 pieces. I call it a win. I got it at Harbor Freight. Pick you one up. Guys, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch my other videos. We're going to take this to the top. I'm bringing you with me. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.